raise your hand or shoot a note in the in the chat if you have a question, please. We can start with Caden McFarland, please. Hey Trayvon, um, I, I would imagine that you guys expected the game to go about the way it did. Uh, just give me some idea. You know, in the rain against a team this tough, fighting for sixty minutes the way you guys always do. Uh, was this kind of everything you expected it would be and decided kind of, you know, exactly like you would have expected it to be decided? Yes, sir. It's a championship game. So we came into the game knowing that we had to be physical uh, on both sides, offense and defense. And uh, physical, physicality, physicality was going to be the uh, main focus into this game. How, how do you process one like this? You know, you guys had been on a nice run, hadn't lost a game in a long time. You're playing for all of it. I can't imagine you can feel terrible, you know, about the way you guys left it all out there. But at the same time, you know, last second field goal and you were that close to a conference title. Uh, yes, sir, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts bad. You know, but uh, the team, we talked about it. And the main focus was to leave everything on the field. And I, I, be, I believe we did that tonight. We'll go next to Kelly Hines, please. Obviously, you guys have had a lot of uh, wild finishes this season. Did you feel like this game was going to be one of those? And did you feel like um, you guys had a chance there at the end to, to pull away? Yes, ma'am. Uh, whenever the running back uh, hit, to, hit the outside to the left and he fumbled the ball, that could have been a huge play. If we would have recovered that, there's no telling what could have happened. How the, how the game could have changed. Is that something that you, you'll you replay in your mind a lot or do you have to just move on from it? Uh, you know, we, Coach uh, G, he usually gives us a 24 hour rule. So we can replay it for the next day, but after that we have to start getting ready for this ball game. We'll take the next question from Dan Tortora, please. Hey, Ron, just what you can say about, you know, your head coach, Philip Montgomery, what, what he has meant to this program, what he's meant to you, and the fight that maybe he brings to the locker room to practice overall, just what you can say about him as a leader and him in this game, especially as close as it was. Uh, coach Money, he's the GOAT. You know, uh, for me, I appreciate him a lot because coming out of high school, you know, I didn't have many offers. You know, um, I was actually signed to a junior college and uh, they offered me three weeks before I graduated. And so I just take that into consideration every day and I uh, really salute him and I appreciate him for that. And then the energy that he brings during the week, uh, practice, everything, it's always intense. It's in live for it, you know? What he's done, you know, this season, you guys have played a lot of close games in the time that you've been there. What's been the difference that you've been able to close out some of these games that were so close in the past couple seasons that didn't work in your favor? I think it's just the uh, fact we took the mindset of finishing this season. Uh, you know, last year and the year before, it was a lot of close games, uh, losing by three, four. And I think uh, we just made that our main focus this year. Any further questions for Trayvon, please? Trayvon, thank you. Appreciate it. And congratulations on a great season. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got Corey right here, Chuck. Okay. Up next is uh, running back 